Ms. Rand, as a final question for this series, um, what would you offer as a piece of advice as what each individual can do to help achieve a more rational society? First of all, the answer is implied right in your question. He should first of all make himself as rational a human being as possible, meaning he should clarify his own ideas, he should organize his own thinking into a coherent frame of reference, he should eliminate contradictions, he should convince himself of his own basic premises, and then proceed to enlarge his knowledge and to share his knowledge with others to the extent he can. In this sense, I would say objectivism can be of great help to him, but as I've always prefaced a statement of that kind, I would say nobody can or should object, uh, accept objectivism on blind faith. I would suggest to anyone interested to study objectivism, weigh its basic premises, convince uh, himself by his own critical judgment that this is true, and then proceed to spread these ideas further by any means open to him, whether in private discussions, by writing letters to editors, by writing articles, books, making spe speeches, giving lectures, by any means which are consonant with his own profession. It is uh, actions of that kind that constitute a culture. And if one wants to change the trend of a culture, it is precisely by individual enlightenment and action that the trend can be changed. And I will certainly wish you success with it, and I'll say goodbye and good premises to all of you.